even going to ask a question. Just your emotions on what just happened. I don't, I don't know. I've been dreaming of this moment for the past two weeks now. Like, I want to do it. I've been imagining that last 200 for the past month. And I just, I can't believe I was worried about making it to nationals. And I just made it. I just won. Uh, 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 coming in at, uh, at, uh, at 438, drop it down to 435, uh, and, uh, and now at 431. Uh, how has the training been so geared, uh, geared to peak right now? Oh, I'm mean, uh, Sorry. Uh, I don't know, I just know what my coach says and I do what he says. And for the, the last practice, we practiced that last, you know, 100. We just gotta like, keep going. And, uh, um, and uh, I don't know, I just, he'd been practicing that a lot with me and I just do what he taught me. Just keep hitting the ground as fast as you can. You've been so consistent uh, all season, but how much were you, were you looking forward to just being on the stage you know, and, and, and finally getting a chance to measure yourself against everybody? I was pretty excited. But at the same time, I was really nervous because last time I ran, I was in the outdoor championship and I finished 21st. And I was, I was nervous that I would mess up again, but I tried not to think about it and just focused on winning. Because I knew, you know, I came in 12th, but I kept telling myself, as long as I'm in the race, I have a chance. So. I did it. <laughs> yeah, so coming in, you thought you could win? I did, I really did. I thought I had a chance. You know, I didn't think I would, I, I thought like maybe 25% chance, but I knew that I could do it. I knew I could. How'd you get that belief? I don't know, I feel, I just feel it. <laughs> I could feel that with my workouts. And last year I dropped 13 seconds off my mouth time, or 1500 time. I don't know if that's precise, but I knew I, I had run actually 435. It was with conversion, but you know, conversions are kind of iffy. And I knew I could drop. I knew I could run at least 432. Are you the, the first individual national champion for Stanford? Uh, yes, ma'am. How does that feel? It's awesome. I love that I could do this for my school. They're so great to me, and I still can't believe I won. We were talking uh, to the Ole Miss guys yesterday after DMR, and they talked about like buying into a vision of going to a program and building something special. Yeah. You know, not going to an established program and just you know being you know, being another one. What was the conviction, or what sold you about going to Sanford and being that person that was gonna that was gonna make something memorable happen? I just I went to Sanford and I loved it. I wanted to be close to home. You know, my dream growing up was actually to go to Alabama, but then I visited Sanford's campus and I was like, I love small schools. Like this is great. Like the farthest class is half a mile away, and it's a beautiful campus and the people are great. And it's just I love the atmosphere there. How many more years of eligibility do you have? I'm a junior, so after this year, one more year of eligibility. I don't know if I'm going to register or not yet. It's up to my coaches other than the side. <laughs> wow, so has this changed your thoughts of yourself as an athlete? Maybe what you can do outdoors as well? Yes, of course. I've like Last year, I decided I wanted to run professionally. A little more than a year ago, I was like, I walked with my coach, and I was like, this is a different coach than what I have now. I was like, coach, I want to run professionally. He's like, Krista, you're PR in the 1500 to 428. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work on it. He's like, all right, I believe within you. I'm going to help you. So he helped me, and then I got this new coach, and he helps me a lot too. And each coach I have has just helped me tremendously. Yeah, what's the coaching situation? What's the coaching? Who's your coach, and to give us that background? So my coach this year is Patrick McGregor. Last year was Kevin Andrasek, and the year before that was Laurie Strand. So I've had a different coach every year in college. Um, what does McGregor, McGregor bring to the table? How's it different this year? Um, I just I feel like thank you. Um, each coach has been there when I needed the most, like most when I was building up. So he's here, and he's, he almost to be like your own thing as well as his thing. So he's more like a guidance rather than, Krista, you're going to do this now. He's like, Krista, do you want to do this or this? And he's just he's great. He's really great. And he's young and super passionate. He's only 26 years old. And he's great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Krista, uh, aside for, uh, for, uh, from, uh, from the coaching aspect, can you really uh, 